Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the TIGWELD 200EX. It's a 220 volt machine with a 25% duty cycle. It's capable of doing gas tungsten arc welding both in the AC and the DC mode. It's also capable of stick welding in the AC and the DC mode and it operates from 10 to 200 amps. So today we're going to take a look at some of the different welds that we can make using gas tungsten arc welding. So hang out for a few minutes and let's see what it can do. So to make the weld I set up a corner joint that looked like this. This is frequently called an open corner. And then what I did was is I got some of the 3 30 seconds 40 43 filler metal and the material I was working with was quarter inch 60 61 and then came in and put the weld in and applied it just like this. If I had a weld symbol, the weld symbol would look something like this. So there's a fillet weld on the arrow side and it would have had a convex contour. So on the face of the machine I set it to AC and then adjusted the amperage to about 125. I installed a number 7 cup and used a 332nd 2% thoriated tungsten. So using the foot control I went ahead and started welding up the joint. I was using some 332nd 4043 filler wire. So I made sure that I put enough filler into the material or into the joint that kept it full and crowned up. I didn't want a flat finish on the top of it because I was going to come back and finish off the weld and radius the edge later on. So once again, trying to keep the end of that filler rod right in that stream of that gas, especially that aluminum, if we pull it out of that stream of the gas, we can get contamination. So there's the appearance of the corner joint after I got done. So I made some small adjustments to the machine. I made one small section at 120 hertz, but then finished the weld up at 240 hertz. So we can hear the change in the arc as we increase the frequency rate. The arc becomes more focused and a bead slightly narrower. But once again I tried to keep it full and then taper off at the end not to leave a crater crack. So there's the weld and there's a restart about two inches in from the end there. So next I decided I was gonna go ahead and put the pearl maxi flapper disc on there, the 60 grit, and go ahead and radius over the outside of the weld. So one of the key things anytime we're doing a radius or a a finish on a long weld like this. We don't want to dwell in any one spot for too long a time or it'll make it uneven or cause a gouge or a ripple in it that will be easily seen later on. So we want to make sure that we keep going back and forth, back and forth, not concentrating on any one spot and moving around the radius, constantly changing so that we don't dwell in any one spot and put a flat in there. So there's the finish on it, and then I decided to see what kind of penetration I got. So I went ahead and cut it with a saw and looked on the inside. So thanks again for hanging out for a few minutes and taking a look at some of the capabilities of the TIGWELD 200EX. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more about this machine and others, take a look at our website, longevity-inc.com. So thanks again for hanging out. And we hope to see you back here real soon.